So here we are in Illustrator, and one of the things we want to do today is create a series of evenly spaced lines. And um, there are multiple ways to do this, and uh, one method that I know of is more appropriate if you know a set distance between each line. Um, and the second method is more appropriate if you know the overall distance of the series of lines that you're trying to make. So I'll show you both. So this first method is if you have a set distance uh, between each line. Um, and we'll go ahead and create our first line and make, make it however long we need. And then I'll go back to my toolbar and I'll select the direct selection tool. And then I'll hold my Alt key down until my cursor um, uh, changes into an additive uh, cursor, meaning it's going to copy whatever I select, um, and I'll click on the line, and I'll begin dragging it, um, and I'll drag it one unit away from um, from my original, and uh, that, that's my set distance. I, um, I wanted one unit between each line in the series. So now um, I'll go ahead and hold the control key down and hit B, and that will replicate that action as many times as I need. And each time it's going to be one unit away from the uh, previous line. So um, once I'm done, all the lines are uh, equidistant from each other. The second method now um, is if I know the uh, entire length of the series of lines the, that I'm trying to make, um, and I don't necessarily know how um, far apart each line needs to be. Um, I'll go ahead and create my first line again. Um, and now I'll select the uh, vapor selection tool and make sure my entire uh, path is selected. And then I'll copy with control C. And then I'll just paste in front with control F. And I'll do that as many times as I need. And they'll all just kind of pile on top of each other. Um, now, I'll, I'll uh, select my just the topmost line, and I'll drag it um, to wherever I need. Let's say um, I want my row, row of lines to be this long. Now I'll hold down my shift key, and I'll select all my lines. And uh, from my Align palette, I'm going to choose, uh, in this instance, I'm going to choose the Horizontal Distribute Center tool. And I'll give that a click. And then that will distribute all my lines that I've created across the set distance that I've uh, defined by my uh, last line. So now you'll notice that they are not exactly one unit apart. They are actually um, distributed. Um, across the, the entire distance that I've defined. 